with a single stupid prompt, Claude and all of these brand new announcements, like ChatGPT, like the brand new Gemini, stuff from Microsoft, all of this stuff just basically ruined it for course creators. And I'm gonna show you that with one simple single prompt, I created a complete course with the brand new version of Claude um, that really changes everything. If you are in the education space and you think a course is enough, my big kind of takeaway on this is we're moving from just in case courses to just in time learning. And I wanna show you live an example of how that can work. So I'm gonna basically go, we'll open up uh, and uh, I'll tell you, I, I use basically just a, a test situation. I was playing around with the brand new version of Claude and I'm not gonna get, I have some additional videos on this, but basically Claude announced yesterday two brand new versions. One was version 4.0. Uh, Sonnet, and then they have an upgraded one or more powerful one is uh, 4.0 Opus. I just have the 4.0 Sonnet. I have a paid account, a basic paid account. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, well, let's say I wanna basically learn something. I'm a regular user, how would I use that? And I came up with the example. I said, well, you know what? I wanna start an e-commerce business. Uh, I've heard Shopify is really good. What do I need to know about it? How do I get started? Um, what do I do? Uh, and again, this is the thing that a lot of people are running into right now, right? They've got all of these options available to them. People are looking for something that's personal and simplified for themselves. And you have the choice of going out and searching Udemy or any of these other places for a thousand Shopify courses. It's almost like doing a Google search right now. You got a thousand different ways to learn it. You're digging through stuff. You're looking for all these static courses and you figure out this course was too technical for me, this one was too basic for me. You have to go through a couple, some you pay for, some you don't. But again, there's so much time, energy, and effort. And we have that option as the person who is actually wanting to learn something. And then we have the other option of the person who's trying to create courses to answer all of the questions for all of these people and try and keep it all up to date. So let's take a look what happened with a single prompt that I made in Claude and what we got out of it. And the single prompt that I made was this. I just said, create a beginner's course for a brand new user wanting to get started using Shopify. Make it step-by-step -step and easy to follow at a grade eight reading level. Include images where applicable and make it available as a downloadable PDF. So I'm looking for something that I can learn what I need to learn and I wanna be able to also have it as a handout so that while I'm playing around with it, I don't have to be opening up all these other tabs and other pieces. Um, and then I said, here are the docs to work from. See, Shopify, just as an example, has a library of tutorials, guides. It has all of that stuff. It's available for free on the internet. Now, if I'm trying to learn that, I could basically go through each of the individual ones, but I wouldn't really have a, a flow as to what I needed step by step. I'd have to kind of pick and choose and figure out which ones to go through and which ones not. So I just basically gave it this prompt and let's take a look at what happened because it's pretty scary and that's why this AI stuff is all about now just in time learning. So here we go. I'll help you create a comprehensive beginner's Shopify course. Let me first gather information from Shopify's official guides to make sure everything is current and accurate. Remember I put the link in here, right? So I put that link in and what it did is it fetched the entire knowledge base from Shopify. Um, it just went to the website, it's there. If you're looking to do something and you have uh, anyone else that you know is doing something or you're trying to learn about something, it doesn't take that much effort to go and find the documentation that is already public. And this is just a real simple example. Notebook LM right now, and I've shown in a couple other videos, um, they have a discover thing where basically it'll go and reference all of the other documents about a particular topic that you ask. I'm learning about Shopify here. So I said, hey, I better put the Shopify documentation in. And I just did the guides. That's all I did is I asked for the guides. Uh, and it basically shot, uh, went and uh, got all the documents. And then it says, let me search for more specific getting started guides to ensure I have the most comprehensive and current information. And it went to 10 different places. This is Claude 4.0. It went and said, you know what? 
this isn't deep research. This is, hey, saying rounding out, taking a look, say, this is all the additional stuff. I want to make sure I got all of the bases covered because I'm putting together a course that is specific for this one user based on where he is and what he wants to do. And it went through and picked out 10. And that's, I didn't ask for 10. I didn't even ask it to do this. It went out and did it on its own. And then it said, let me get some specific information about Shopify pricing and features to make sure the course includes current details. So if I take a look at, you know, information that comes out now, just look at the AI stuff. All of the major vendors of AI platforms changed everything this week. So if you're going to create a course on something, I want to know that all the features, all the benefits, all the information is current today when I'm asking for the course. Not when the course was created six months ago or nine months ago or even three months ago. So it goes to check everything. It gets all of the features, all of the pricing. Everything is available. And it says, perfect. Now I have a comprehensive, up-to-date information about Shopify. I'm going to create the beginner-friendly course that follows your teaching style and can be easily converted to a PDF. Let me create this as a structured course document. Uh, and basically, that's what it did. So if I look over, and again, if you don't know how to use Claude, this is called an artifact on the right-hand side. It'll get generated for you. Um, and if it doesn't, you basically just ask and say, create an artifact, art artifact and this will show up on the right-hand side. Now, I've got the screen a little bit bigger here. Let me move over to the other screen so that you can see it. Um, basically, it went through, and if you look on the right-hand side, I have a complete shoppers uh, Shopify beginners course, a step-by-step -step guide, and it's got a table of contents, a uh, link from the web. Actually, we can go and open this one. I'm going to cancel it. I haven't, I haven't saved it, but we've got the additional pieces here. So setting up your account, understanding the Shopify plans, adding your first products, choosing and customizing the store design basically gives you everything that you would need to know from one stupid single little prompt. I have a complete course. And hopefully you can see up in the right hand corner, you can see there's a little draggable kind of arrow here. This is a thorough and complete cover of all of these 14 pieces and including common mistakes to avoid growing your business, launching your store. It's not just how to use the actual software. It's like, hey, this is Shopify. This is setting up your e-commerce business. It's done for you. Goes through all of this. And then I want to basically show you what happens here. What you need to get before started. It's looking and telling you all the stuff that you have to get doing. Um, don't worry if you're not sure yet. It's helping you along directly. All of the stuff is right here. So start with a free trial, sign up, all of this stuff. And again, I'll make this available for download for, to show you how, uh, how powerful it is. But here's the, here's the part I just want to talk about. I'm going to scroll through this. But let's say you're a course creator. What are the things that you normally would have to go through to do this? Um, you know, it's like you're going to create a syllabus, you're going to create individual lessons. You know, maybe you're going, well, I'm going to create this. Is this good enough for someone to get started? Yeah. Can I look at this and as the instructor just say, do I add or do I have to fix up a lesson? Yeah, you could do that. But that is a very, very thorough, uh, up-to-date layout of something that can be taught to someone quickly without you. And that's the part that's pretty scary. It's without you. And you're going to see in this that one prompt that it did a whole bunch of things that I didn't ask for that you as the instructor normally would have to go over and above what you normally do with a course to actually create. And here's what happens at the end. I'm going to scroll down to these again because at the end of this document, and I'm talking way at the end of the document, it's giving you actually the stuff, the steps, right? So fill in this, fill in this, fill in this kind of thing. Um, you know, Add local de delivery shipping zones, set the delivery radius, store pages, you know, about us, all of these things, what started your business, all of these different pieces are available. And you have to remember, if someone doesn't know what to put in, they basically just ask in another prompt, right? If they don't know how to explain, uh, you know, what it is that makes them different, for example, or if they need uh, a particular description for a product, they can just fill that in. But the steps are all here. And if we keep on going down, 
Here's the part that is pretty flippy that I did not ask for. Launching your store right there. Big moment has arrived. Let's make sure your store launch goes smoothly. There's a checklist. I didn't ask for a checklist, but I've now got a checklist to complete as I go through as a user setting up my store for the first time. And it covers all of the pieces that I want just for the test. Now I'm going over, it's even got stuff about social media launch, launch day stuff. Uh, and then even further down, we've got mistakes to avoid, all these additional pieces, and a 30-day action plan on what to do week by week moving forward. And if I'm ready and I take a look at this, I just want to go and download it as a markdown file, or I'm just going to save it as a PDF. So I've now got a PDF to print that allows me to have my course available for me while I'm following the instructions, filling in the different parts that it told me to fill in. And I don't need an instructor. I don't need to purchase a course. It is there. This is, um, this is just in time learning. And this is going to become more and more important in the education space. And it changes your job as the teacher or the instructor. So when you're taking a look at this brand new Claude one, just start playing around with some of these simple, stupid prompts that shouldn't make sense and shouldn't deliver the kind of results that we're now able to get with tools like OpenAI's ChatGPT, the brand new versions, the brand new version of Claude, the brand new version of Gemini AI. Play around with these and just ask and say, hey, create me a course for this and see what happens. And I'm thinking, and I know that if I was just starting out, that document would be more than enough to get me on the right track. I'm still going to need some help. And that's what I'm going to cover in the next video, because there's still a place for you as the instructor, as the teacher, as the expert that is able to guide people through this entire process. My name is James. Like and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, I didn't even say anything. Please go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. Uh, learn how to use all of this stuff. I'm there to help you start, build, and grow your education business. So take care. Expect the best. Get ready for the next video where I get into just-in-time learning.